Hey yo everybody, Haku here, and uh, first thing Thursday morning, so the One Piece chapter just dropped. Time for my live reaction to One Piece chapter 834, and the title is My Dream. So with that title, I'm thinking that actually, I'm thinking we might see more Sanji flashbacks and figure out why his dream is to be a chef and find the all <laughs> and find the all blue, find out why he left the Vin Smokes to begin with or how and uh, went to that ship we saw him cooking at in his original flashback. So, um, yeah, I I think we might see more Sanji flashbacks, and I am way okay with that if that's the case, because I, li I, I liked last week's, so I I'd be in for some flashbacks. Chapter 834, My Dream. From the decks of the world, the 500 million Berry Man arc, Volume 22, The Isle of Women, and we see, um, Amazon Lily with a giant picture of, um, Luffy up on the wall, and we see the, uh, old lady whose name I forget, and of course, Boa Hancock, and that's all we got. Yeah, I forget the old lady's name. Okay, a bunch of fan art, like usual. Okay, yep, here we go, we got s some flashbacks. If you try to leave this island, well, let's just say you'll be cooking with your feet. The prince has been kidnapped. I'll definitely have you proceed with this marriage. And this is how he, um, reacted when they put the cuffs on. Cut the bullshit. Get these things off of me. Don't try to forcefully remove them, says, um, Reiju. Pee 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 pee. And it starts beeping. Let go of the wristlet, Sanji. And then she slaps his hand off. There's no way to get them off other than to use their respective keys. How many times do we have to repeat ourselves? And then, back to current time, Sanji's sitting up at the top of the castle looking at his wrists. Uh, wrists. Your hands are a mess. Get it through that thick skull of yours. These precious hands are not meant for fighting. Got it? And it's um, Zeff bandaging up little Sanji's hands and teaching him. Sanji's all angry. God damn it! He's yelling from um, the German Kingdom. <clears throat> In the vicinity of Sweet City. Oh shit! We got the um, we got Pedro and Brooke. Boss Jimbe actually turned his back on Mama. To think that this all went down yesterday. Man, it was cool of him to bring one of Mama's tantrums to an end that one time. But this this is nuts. Word has it, right after he stormed into her palace asking to be cut loose, he got all weak in the knees when Mama demanded he make the payment. That's when he started backtracking. Get the hell out of here. That's so weak. <laughs> yeah, what a wuss. Ha, Jimbei, Knight of the Sea. More like Jimbei, Blight of the Sea. Oh, world star. Okay, <laughs> uh, so he not only turned out to be a traitor, but he's also a yellow-bellied coward. Um, Jimbei, Brooke is thinking. I have my current position to consider. I see, so you were a subordinate in Big Mom's crew. This explains why the fish, why Fishman Island used to be under her protection. An ex Shichibukai, to think she'd have underlings of this caliber, says Pedro. Brooke, are you acquainted with this man? Yes, he is a very important individual to us. Once I have fulfilled my duty, Free of co okay, this is the uh, flashback for Jimbei at Fishman Island. Once I have fulfilled my duty and am free of such constraints, I hope that you will invite me once more to join the Straw Hat Pirates. This must be precisely what he was talking about then. In any case, the man described in this article sounds nothing like the Jimbei we know. Does that mean that Jimbei has had a change of heart in terms of jo joining our crew? Oi, Brooke! Somebody calls from somewhere. And, um... Pedro points. Please, I have a prior engagement I, I must attend. Right now, nothing takes priority over finding you the perfect dress. Madam Pudding, do as we say, Siva Play. And we see... Okay, so it must have been, um... Ah, uh, Pedro calling to him. We see Pudding and Tamago. This is the one. Oh my, it would look absolutely ravishing on you. I dare say there are too many options here. There's not a single dress that wouldn't suit you, madam. Madam Pudding, perhaps we should choose an outfit with your groom's taste in mind. 
Huh? But that's just... I mean, we've only met each other once. Eh, Miss Pudding, what in the world? It seems she was unable to escape the watchful gaze of her handlers. She should have joined up with Luffy and the others long ago. By the looks of things, Sanji probably has no clue that we've arrived here either. Just who were the people Luffy saw back at the coast then? Who knows, probably mistook some others for them. That man over there is Baron Tamago. Baron, we'd like to have a word with you, says one of the little soldiers, and he looks over. Regarding the straw hat pirate ship that had recently docked at Chocolate Town. Say what? And we see uh, Brooke and Phaedra's reaction. We've received intel that Sir Peckham's was nowhere to be seen by the time the ship set sail. My god, they know everything. We've also confirmed that four of the Straw Hats have entered the Seducing Woods. And they have Nami Chopper and Luffy um, <laughs> wanted posters and then a hand-drawn carrot poster. The chances of escape for them is pretty much nil at this point, so capturing them is a foregone conclusion. Did they just say that... <laughs> That the capture of Luffy and the others is imminent, and Brook and Phaedra are just shocked, hiding behind a wall. That being said, we're still in the dark as to the whereabouts of the two remaining crew members. <gasps> These are their posters. Oh dear lord, it's us. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's Brook's concert poster that was converted into a wanted poster, and then a drawing of Pedro. <laughs> How could they possibly be this well informed about our movements? They've clearly been keeping tabs on us from the very beginning. How could they have gathered all this intel, intel so effortlessly? Nun Nun, that mink is no leopard. He is a j jaguar mink, and he goes by the name Pedro. Are you acquaintances? Ah, well yes, you could say that. Anyway, I have an inkling as to where to find that mink. But now, but for now, focus your attention and do everything you can to locate Peckham's. Yo, so we know more and more about Pedro, but we're not getting the full story. Aye, sir. When it was discovered that he still lived, I had considered taking Mama and begging for her forgiveness. After all, despite everything that's been going on recently, we have a long history together as partners. But now this, talk about a rock and a hard place. We we truly are in dire straits. Um, Broken Pedro is still freaking out. Hulk Ake Island, northeastern coast. Wah, wah. Pipe, oi, pipe down, Junior. Wah, pipe down. And, um, uh, Capone's making a funny face. Oh, look at him. He's so precious. 22nd daughter of the Charlotte family, Beige's wife, Charlotte Chiffon. Yo. Beige's son, Capone Gang Pets. Yo, so she wasn't married to Gotti. She was married to um, Capone himself. Kya, 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 kya. Alrighty, that's a good boy. But once puberty kicks in, you better be on your way to becoming a badass sexy gang leader like your old man and do the family name proud. And of course we see Gotti and Vito in the background. Okay, cool. I may have just thrown up in my mouth a little gal. It's comedic, ain't it? You, a, a life about to end, standing in front of and watching a life that just began, says um, Capone. Damn, that was pretty deep. It's like I'm waxing poetry over here. Peckhams, I gave you a way out. What's about to happen here? That's all on you. A way out my ass, gal. So Peckhams ran off to get his revenge, so stupid Peckhams decision. I had some inklings about you during that whole Zoe incident. Guys like you, full of compassion and empathy, they're doomed to fail in our line of work. Admit it, you were never cut out for this work. This coast right here, you won't find a better location for making undesirables disappear. And we see sharks everywhere. Once they're done with you, not a single hair on that head of yours will remain. And Peckham's has chains wrapped around him. Any last words? Capone points the gun at him. And then the baby starts crying. You, underestimating Mama, will be your downfall. Baby's still crying, and Capone shoots Peckham's. He falls back off the cliff. I, I just, I can't picture Peckham's dying like that, though. I don't know. I don't know. Sure, maybe, but I doubt it. The Whole Cake Chateau, Queen's Chambers. 
Yo, when we see Big Mom and Caesar Clown, what the heck? I've been sending you a surplus of funds, haven't I, Caesar Clown? Y y yes of course. I've been diligently and faithfully continuing my research as well. My dream is to become family with all the races of the world, and to enjoy a meal with my diverse family at eye level while we sit around with not a care in the world. Caesar, you and you alone are my only hope of making this dream a reality. You were to use the power of science to gigantify my entire family. Yo, so that's why he was making the kids giants. Every time I called in to check on you, you'd tell me how close you were to putting the finishing touches on your research, that you simply needed more funding to make that final push across the finish line. I'd get giddy with anticipation every time you told me that, and with no hesitation, I made sure you got your money. So tell me, how's it all going? It is going amazingly, thanks to you, says Caesar. And then he thinks to himself, the gigantification of humans. Obviously, all my experiments and research have been focused in that field. After all, perfecting such a recipe would make me the most sought-after scientist in the world. Having said that, the research I've been doing has been primarily on converting brats into giants. I haven't been able to ensure the longevity or the s sustained health. And it's becoming painfully clear that creating a magical drug that simply lets an individual grow in physical stature without any side effects is impossible. That's why I've been milking this crazy hag for all she's worth, and spending all those excess funds on the finest booze and women from my favorite girls' ship. Sneaking them onto the island was the highlight of my night. <laughs> Such good times. I was able to do as I please on my own watch while hiding behind Joker's shadow. I never imagined the Joker would have his ass handed to him, and that I'd end up in this precarious situation. <laughs> oh my gosh. Freaking Caesar. Why are you making that expression, says Big Mom. Yeah, Straw Hat Luffy. Yes, that's right, Straw Hat Luffy. He's the one responsible for ruining my work. Big Mom, believe me when I say that I've spent countless sleepless nights cultivating and nourishing the fruits of both our labor. I was on the precipice, this close to finally being done, when out of the blue that moron Straw Hat Kid and Trafalgar Law threw a monkey wrench in our carefully laid out plans. If not for their meddling and interference, my research on giganticism would have been completed long ago, for I am a genius with no equal. With that incredibly high-tech lab built by the world government at my disposal, anything was possible. But now that it's been destroyed, my genius has been handcuffed, and without comparable facilities, there's no way I can duplicate my previous results. Without your financial backing in a suitable workstation, even someone as prodigious as myself cannot reproduce that perfect gigantifying formula I had successfully manufactured in the recent past. If that's the only thing holding you back, then you need not fret. I have already built an exact repl replica of your previous lab. <laughs> <coughs> as luck would have it, I managed to get my hands on the blueprints for that specific lab a while back. Our minister of candy, who also happens to be a candy craftsman, was then able to construct most of the facility by using candy. We then reinforced the entire structure with iron, so you can rest assured that there are no safety hazards or risks looming. And as far as financial backing is concerned, whatever you require, I shall make available to you. What? <laughs> oh, Caesar. Now then. When will the drug be ready? I'm thinking maybe a week, no more than two at the most. Ma 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 ma. I'm so excited. Two weeks, my ass. You want me to come up with something that even the brightest minds over the past few centuries have failed to accomplish? Yo, when we see the replica of Punk Hazard. Wow, that's really awesome. Who in the hell is this? The candy candy minister? What in the hell? It looks just as scrumptious as the real thing, does it not? It works in the very much the same way, Lickety. Eldest son of the Charlotte family. The oldest, oh, oldest son of the Charlotte family. Charlotte Pedospero, the minister of candy. A candy human who ate the Lick Lick fruit. Okay, so devil fruit user there. Lickety Lick, what do you think of my latest creation, Caesar? Coo-coo-coo. 
this thing is quite fascinating, wouldn't you agree? Oh, and he has the heart from Sanji. He has Caesar's heart. Damn. Oi, Blackleg. Oi, Blackleg. Give me back my heart before you gallivant out here. Oh yeah, sure. Enjoy. Two weeks. That's all the time you have. If you fail to complete your research by then, I'll turn you into a candy man, and you'll be on the wrong side of my tongue. Coo 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 coo. So, I have two weeks to live. I need to figure out a way out of this, says Caesar. Southwestern coast, night time. Gasp, gasp, wheeze, wheeze. I'm getting really sick of seeing your ugly mug, says Luffy. I found some more. Wow, quite right you are. That's a lot of friends you've got there. <laughs> woof, woof, meow, meow, squeak, squeak. <laughs> Luffy's just running around with a giant, um with the giant that's buried with a bunch of fake Sanji's carrots, Nami's, choppers, and uh, puddings. This should be all of them, but I still don't get why they're acting so weird. Come on, guys, what gives? Whose idea was it to multiply? Okay, that's a really funny panel, all of their faces. Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, even if it isn't the real carrot, we still see in our queen. But, um, yeah, that's, a, that's it for this chapter. This one was a bit uh, different. Not what I was expecting. I don't know why it was called My Dream. Oh, I guess because of Big Mom's Dream. But that didn't even really play that huge a role in the chapter. But whatever. Um, it was cool. Again, I absolutely love chapters where we get to see all the different groups and what they're doing. So I'm super happy with it. Like, I don't know. I don't think it, it could have done anything to make me more happy. We got to see what was going on with Brooke and Pedro and Pudding and everything and finding out, yeah, it looks like it was definitely a trap. Um, we get to find out somehow they know everything. We get to find out about uh, Peckham's and uh, Capone, and I don't think Peckham's is dying like that. I really don't. We get to find out about Big Mom and Caesar Clown and I guess something about Jimbei. We don't know where the hell Jimbei is. And we got to see Sanji and Luffy, so... Overall, I'm just happy with this one. So, uh, anyway, review will be up tomorrow after I read it a bunch of times, like usual. So, that's it. Thank you all for watching so very much. Uh, like, if you did like this video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of the chapter and what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe if you want to for more uh, One Piece, uh, Twelve Beast. I'll try to start Book New Hero Academia soon. Tower of God, just a bunch of stuff. Uh, and adding more stuff so uh, check out the channel sub if you want and also if you want to follow on Twitter because I'll try to keep you updated there whenever I post anything or push anything back so that is it thank you for watching one last time and I will see you all next time